Hello and welcome to another Gimplist tutorial. In this tutorial I'll be teaching you how to make a uh, cool 3D text that's kind of a uh, slanted with a cool perspective touch on it. So you'll see what I mean in a minute. So open up GIMP, create a new file. I'm just going to be using 500 by about 230. You can uh, change the width depending on uh, how, what kind of text you're putting in, but the height should be about 230 unless you want really big text. So open that up on the layers channel right click on the background layer press add alpha to selection then just hit the delete key to give it uh, transparency uh, take the text tool create a text box and then just type in your text I'm just going to be typing in GIMP right now uh, go to the text tools I like sans bold just because it's nice bold text and bold's pretty good for this type of thing give it as big as it can get and then lower the uh, this last one right here just shortens the space in between the letters as you can see the lower it gets the closer they are so just make sure there's a tiny bit of space in between each of them like that that should be good and you can make the text a little bigger there that should be pretty good right there and then right click on this uh, layer right here press alpha to selection now you want to get your foreground and your background colors I'm going to be uh, choosing a light uh, a normal yellow for my foreground and a light orange for my background. Take your gradient, get uh, foreground to background with a linear stroke down. Now create a new layer. Uh, click on select, grow by four pixels. Take your fill tool with a black foreground color, fill it in, and then move it under the original text layer to give it a cool outline. Then select none and then you got the basic uh, text just with a little gradient to give it some uh, texture uh, so now what you're going to want to do is merge this down go on to filters map uh, map object uh, press transparent background and show preview wireframe now you can uh, do this however you like I'm just going to be showing you uh, my preferences and I think about negative 60 is good for this this is just going to give it uh, you can see uh, the wire, which way it's going to be going. You can change the X, the Y, and the Z, which will give it different directions. So once you're done, you can press Preview. Uh, it gives you a nice preview. Actually, I'm going to lower that a little. Let's try negative 55. And that should be good. Just hit OK when you're done. It'll load up. And it'll give you that nice texture right there. So then you can just move it over a little, depending on which way you want the... Uh, uh, 3D text, uh, the 3D to go. Now, duplicate that layer, click on the bottom layer, go to filters, blur, motion blur, and this will just give it the 3D text, so uh, put it on linear, the angle, uh, 180, which will uh, make it straight across, and then the length, however long you want the 3D to go. Uh, 44, 45 should be good. And then you got that, then uh, just duplicate the layer as much as you want. Then when you think you've duplicated enough, uh, hide the main text layer and the alpha, or the background text layer. Right click anywhere on the layers channel and press merge visible layers. Then just click merge, merge them all together. You can duplicate it a few more times, make it a little darker. And then just do the same thing. And then you can show all the rest. And now, uh, with this uh, background layer selected, go to colors, brightness, contrast. Uh, I just this is personal preference. You don't really need this. I like just changing the brightness all the way down, or maybe not all the way down, and then the contrast up a little, just to give it a cool uh, dark right uh, dark effect right there. And click OK, and then you can merge these two layers down so you have the, all the text on one layer. Now you take the perspective tool, click on it, move that out of the way. Then this, uh, with this one, you're going to want to uh, move it down a little and in a little, and then make the other one a direct straight line under it. It doesn't have to be the perfect uh, same amount of part. And then you take the other side, bring it up a little, and then the uh, on the bottom you want another straight line. And again, how far apart they are doesn't really matter. Then when you're done, just click transform, move it to the center, and there you got some cool. Uh, uh, 3D effects right there, it goes, it slants out a little. You can uh, change the 
settings to whatever your pref personal preference is. But th I think this looks good right here. So if you like this tutorial, please comment, rate, and subscribe to my YouTube channel and uh, suggest that another tutorial you would like to see me do uh, in the near future. So this was a good place tutorial. Uh, thanks for watching.